What's good, you guys? You know who it is, man. It's your boy, Mr. Relentless Lex, and I'm back like I never left this month. Yes, sir. All right, man, this is crazy. The last video I did, like the video before last, second to last, something like that, I did ASAP, ASAP Rocky and Riri. They get into divorce. It say ASAP trying to get a hundred million from real. Bro, Hollywood has gone even more bonkers, bro. Now we got Jeezy and Jenny. I heard a song on your album, my boy, Jeezy. Real don't cheat. Now it all makes sense, bro. Now it all makes sense, man. Let's get to it. Spicy. I'm just getting all this data. This is like I can't take it with me. So I want to just share it. And I feel like. Um, you know, writing a song is is cool. Did Jeezy just hint at his soon-to-be ex-wife, Jeannie Mai, allegedly cheating on him? The little issues you have unsettled before you get married get magnified Stop by millions of percent oh after God. you get married. The rapper from Atlanta dropped his new album, I Might Forgive But I Don't Forget, last Friday, November 3rd. The album has songs like They Don't Love Me, Trust No One, Don't Deserve Me, and Don't Cheat, which fans think are hints at the rumors that Mai might have been disloyal. You know what? So for all you guys that came to my live when I had did this album re um, review, I only did the first the first part, right? Uh, this one or whatever. The first side and i and i mentioned inside my live bro i said these songs all kind of sound the titles it's all tying together on some emotional type type sh you know what i'm saying so i'm like dang now i was right the whole time bro in their relationship in the track don't cheat jeezy talks about his breakup with genie mai saying real guys don't cheat in the chorus tell me you gonna hold it down baby girl because this ish ain't for the weak nah real ends don't cheat I be out here getting paper while you sleep. Once again, cause real ends don't cheat, he raps. In the song, Jeezy also speaks on being cheated on and lied to, and fans are convinced that he is referring to Jeannie. He raps, you think? real ish, been cheated on and I been lied to. Would have went to war about them bees, I would have died too. Additionally, Jeezy seems to have hinted at Jeannie's short temper. Bro, hold on, I gotta check them sounds out. <laughs> them bees, I would have died too. Addi additionally, Jeezy. Jeezy. <laughs> Uh, those Jesus sandals are Hermes. Bro, what kind of... Those sandals make me want to go dog go uh, rafting in the river. <laughs> the rafters right there, bro. Easy seems to have hinted at Jeannie's short temper. For example, I have a really hot temper, but I didn't notice it in myself until... Oh, you knew that. Crazy. You knew that. And when I would spew some of my old habits, and he was like, uh-uh, like... Who, that's not flying here. In his song, he raps, just watch your tone when you talking to me. It's about respect. In any case, rumors of my cheating on Jeezy started around mid-September, weeks after Jeezy filed for divorce and their separation was revealed to the public. There were allegations that my and fellow TV personality Mario Lopez shared a deeper connection than mere professional wow. colleagues, fueled by video footage depicting their close rapport. Fans speculated on their unmistakable chemistry and the fact that Mai posted a compilation of her week as a guest host on Access Daily with Lopez. In the oh, clip, the Saved by the Bell actor playfully lifts Jeezy and Mai Jenkins' daughter Monaco up from the anchor desk and gives her a kiss on the cheek. Mama, what are you doing? What are you doing? Meanwhile, although the cheating allegations have not been confirmed, one person who suspected it was Tamar Braxton. Tamar spoke about her former co-host's pending divorce during a recent segment on Dish Nation. According to The Entertainer, there are only a couple of reasons a man leaves his wife. Reasons why a man leaves his wife or file for divorce. Number one is another woman pushing him to do it, okay? Or number two is something real foul went down. Now a lot of people are- I agree though, I agree though. Number one, another another woman probably is pushing him to do it, or either something fight like like she said, bro. And this scenario, the way that my man from Saved by the Bell had kissed the little baby, oh something foul definitely went down. 
speculating that Jeannie allegedly cheated because she wasn't truly in love with Jeezy. In fact, she once admitted to not being into black men. For context, Dang. while appearing on The Real in 2014, Mai said, But for me, dark meat on the side, white keeps me mean and lean, you know? Oh, like, hell! I, married white man. I know she ain't just... Bro, did I hear what the... Bro, ain't no way, bro. She said, what about dark... Hold on, let's take that. Let's take that shit back. For we gotta context, take that shit back. While appearing on The Real in 2014, Mai said, But for me, dark meat on the side, white keeps me mean and lean. You know, that's why I, I married white man. That's what I like. I'm saying I really... She about to get... Jeezy about to... Yo. Jeezy. <laughs> I ain't heard that second album yet, bro. That second part. But I hope that all the songs about this mother... <laughs> Do you think black men are attractive? I do, she continued before two of her black co-hosts called her out for the dark meat comment. What are you reading it as? I just mean when I think about men, I like dark men I do, Jeannie explained. One of her fellow panelists said she took it to mean, you like your main man to be white and your side piece black, as the audience went wild with applause. Jeannie tried to backtrack explaining, what I meant is I used to date black men. I think they're attractive. But what I decided to stick to is it just kept me happiest was my man Freddie, who happens to be white, referring to then-husband Freddie Hartice. The clip went viral on X and users called out her dark meat claim. In Damn. light of Jeezy filing for divorce against Jeannie Mai, I wonder if this video of his wife calling black men dark meat was a factor in his decision, one person asked, while another added, Jeezy should have ran, fast, while another person wrote, what an awful thing to say. Clearly, Jeezy got fed up because he filed a petition for divorce in the Fulton County Superior Court in Georgia in September. According to court documents, the rapper said the marriage was irretrievably broken. Jeezy also requested the court honored the terms of his prenuptial agreement with Mai, which was signed before they got married two years ago. The parties entered into prenuptial agreement dated March 26, 2021, that was duly signed and executed by both petitioner and respondent and resolves all financial issues incident to this divorce. Bro, they, so that's a great thing, bro. They got a prenup. Jesus was thinking. Jesus said, I'm from the hood. I ain't going back to the hood. You're going to sign this damn prenup. <laughs> no kidding. The prenuptial agreement should be enforced, and the terms set forth therein made the final order of this court. The documents read, the divorce was listed as a contested divorce, meaning Janie Mai was contesting the proceedings. According to Entertainment Tonight, a source close to Jeezy and Mai said they didn't agree on certain family values and expectations. They had different views, and each felt like their needs weren't being completely met, the source said. Jeezy's latest album, I Might Forgive, But I Don't Forget, consists of 29 tracks and comes after his 2020 album, The Recession 2. The first part of the album is produced by ATL Jacob, Ricky Polo, Cubiots, and Hendrix. The second half of the album is crafted by Justice League, the team behind some of Jeezy's earlier hits. Wow, like Justice League, League, okay. Wordplay and fame. As you work on the album, you know, you start talking about life, talking about music, experience, and all that. Justice League's Eric Rook Ortiz revealed. So it just became more songs and more songs and more songs. And then one day Jeezy was like, you know what? This is going to be a double album. He added, the album is very mature. He opens up about a lot of subjects, some things people might be curious about or never even knew about him. It's very meticulously put together. Later on, the rapper released a statement about the decision he and the host of The Real made to end their marriage after two and a half years. The decision to end this chapter in my life was not made impulsively and comes with a heavy heart, the Grammy-nominated artist said. Despite this, my love and respect for Jeannie remains and the time we spent together holds a cherished place in my heart. Our beautiful daughter is the best gift from our relationship, and I am committed to assuring she feels the love and stability she deserves. During this period, I kindly request that you respect our family's privacy as we focus on healing, the hip hop star's statement concluded. Now the speculation that Jannie cheated on Jeezy is pretty wild because most of the fans thought that Jeezy was the unfaithful one given his record. You see, the rapper has been linked to several women throughout his career, but his most notable before Mai was with R&B singer Keisha Cole. The pair reportedly dated for two years from 2005 to 2007. 
They kept the details of their relationship under wraps throughout their time together. It was later revealed that it was Jeezy's choice to keep things private. While that part was a little shady, most of the other aspects of their time together seemed like they were blissful, as they even collaborated on a song together. However, the story took an unexpected turn somewhere down the line. According to reports, both Jeezy and Cole claimed the other pushed wanting to get married, which contributed to their split. Jeezy told Vibe magazine in 2008, Keisha asked me to marry her, bought me a ring and everything. She not gonna tell you different, he said. I was grown enough to tell her, look baby, that isn't what it is right now. I'm trying to get my ish together. I'm trying to get my money, take care of me and mine. Cole, on the other hand, said it was actually Jeezy who proposed. After oh, this wow. guy proposed to me, I was like, dang, this is everything wow, no. he lives for. To dang. be married with a ring, to be able to represent something, she told Essence magazine. But for me, it was the opposite. I was scared. I'm just not ready for that. I'm not done with my goals in life. I just couldn't submit. But I loved him. That's the crazy thing about it. I mean, if they were having conflicting stories about the reason they broke up, what does that really say about their relationship? Apart from the fact that his past relationship ended in literal lies that no one may actually ever uncover, his business side seems to be just as bad, as there have been countless reports about just how cutthroat he can be in his dealings. For starters, there is the fact that he was constantly caught up in conflict with people in his record who started out being his friends, with reports of him even siphoning money that was meant for the label into his personal account. Not just that, he was also caught up in more than a few lawsuits. In fact, only a couple of years back, one of his former business partners filed a suit to the tune of millions of dollars against the rapper. Per the reports, Jeezy's one-time business partner Demetrius Ellerby sued the rapper and Def Jam recordings for unpaid shared profits and royalties and advances. Ellerby attested that since he helped Jeezy found CT Music in 2000, the two were business partners and he should be paid half of the profits he has received. They were partners. They started the company together, they grew the company together, and he's entitled to one half said Ellerby's lawyer. From the Atlanta Journal-Constitution, the suit claims that he has seen little payments from Jeezy and that money has intentionally been misappropriated into personal accounts to keep from paying Ellerby. He was reported to have still been awaiting an accounting from Def Jam. But Jeezy's former partner estimated he was owed $5 million, and most likely much more once royalties and interest are factored in. While it remained unclear that the pair actually settled up outside of court, Ellerby has been relentless in letting the world know who Jeezy really is. Recently, he was hosted by Big Bank and DJ Scream on an episode of Big Facts, and he dove into details of Jeezy doing him dirty from the beginning. Oh, you know, the boss that we had at the time was flawed. He wanted everybody to stay up under him. And if he seen you getting more light than him, yo ass, got put to the back burner. That's just how it was. At a young age, while doing a bid in a juvenile boot camp, Ellerby said he met Jeezy and they instantly connected. However, the idea of creating a record label together didn't come up until later on and only after the pair made money separately from other ventures. A couple of years down the line, the pair got into business and before they knew it, they were behind projects that landed them Grammy nominations. While this led Ellerby to believe his team had arrived, it didn't last. The entrepreneur said there was a shift in how he and Jeezy handled business and their bond was subsequently affected. It was just a lot of effed up ish, he said. How we go from doing what we did on this side and we get over here. This ish ain't even real. Ellerby seemingly attributed his falling out with Jeezy to some things the rapper may have said on his latest project and allegations that Ellerby may have stolen money from him. I'm like, bro, how could I steal some money? All your money goes straight to the accountant, and every Monday, they cut me a check for my 20%, Ellerby explained. It was just a lot of BS that he would put into the mix that I didn't like. I wanted to say something, but I'm like, you know what? I don't gotta do that. In the end, the business owner revealed that he had to file for bankruptcy after their simple fight turned court battle became the only news on the front page. In any case, given all the tumultuous events from his history, it's understandable why fans might think he's the one who hurt Jeannie. However, as additional information emerges, the truth behind this tale will become clear. For now, though, nothing has been officially confirmed, leaving us in suspense about who the real villain in the story might be. Anyway, that's that Did Jeezy Oh, my boy. Well, it is what it is, man. I'm just, Jeezy, I'm just glad you signed a prenup. Smart man, bro. Smart man.
Jesus said he on the way to chase that billion. He said he ain't got time for this. He went and filed for the divorce himself. Now, had he not have done that, she would have been had lawyers invest. It would probably been so much. I'm glad Jeezy went and did everything himself, bro, and got it taken care of and, and, and left her a nice letter. He, he bowed out gracefully, bro. Shout out to Jesus for bowing out gracefully, man. Thank you guys for watching the channel, man. This your boy, Mr. Relentless Licks. And we're on the road to 100,000 subs. We're right around the corner. We're knocking on the door. Make sure you subscribe to the channel, man. Make sure you smash that like button. You dig?